Hey guys, how are you? Ellie Showstack here. Hope all is well. Hope you're having an awesome day. Wanted to touch base with, with you about a recent insight that came to me. I think many of you know that I'm a relationship coach and I meet with singles, people who are divorced, men, women, people who are single for years, as well as those who've been to therapy. I get this a lot. Those who've been to therapy and have tried different ways to um, overcome their personal issues or their relationship issues. Sometimes they'll see a marriage counselor. Sometimes they'll see a couple's counselor and it didn't work out. So those are the people that I work with and those are the people, the awesome people that I meet with. And many of them will say to me reasons why um, they sometimes, when I reach out to them, some people are like, hey, great, I'd love to hear what you have to offer. What, what is it that you do? How can you help? But I would say the majority of them are very reticent to number one, even want to talk to anybody about the idea of getting into a healthy relationship because, and rightfully so, they have been burned so many times, not only with um, the relationship world, dating itself and going out on dates and, and being disappointed and getting ghosted by people and being frustrated and but they also are sick of dealing with people who um, are quote unquote preying on them and making them feel like, oh, you know, uh, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this. So one of the reasons why I love what I do is because just so that you know what my goal is, um, I was single for 11 years before I met my wife. And it sucked. Uh, the majority of it sucked. Uh, going on dates and things not working out, having broken relationships, almost engagements, almost getting married. Um, this I thought was going to be the right one. It wasn't the right one, so on and so forth. Then, And I was a clinical social worker, by the way, during this time frame. And I met my wife. Uh, I wore a toupee at that point because I was so insecure, so I was wearing fake hair for many years. And I go ahead, I rip off the toupee. I had the courage to leave social work, and I went into coaching because it was much more empowering. I can have videos like this. I can be myself. I can talk. And I've been married for 17 years uh, this past July. So I kind of get what it takes to be single and going from being single to being in a healthy relationship, but not only being in a relationship, but also maintaining it. So that's where I'm very much different than the majority, I think, of matchmakers out there, relationship coaches, experts, so on and so forth. And when I do speak with singles, people who are divorced, they'll very, very quickly, one person even told me yesterday, Dude, I've been cheated on twice, and I am not uh, going into another relationship uh, ever again. And I was like, mm-hmm, I completely get it. So what's important to know, I think, if you're single, if you're divorced, if you've been to therapy and have tried to make things work, here's a very, very important point as to why it's actually easier to stay single than it is to get into a relationship. Because think about it. If you view relationships as being painful, which the majority of you do, because it hasn't worked out in one way or another, for any reason, right? If it's because you think it's because of you, if you think it's because of the other person, if you think it's because of the world out there. Um, and again, I, I just posted the other day, these exact words have been said to me. No one knows what the F they want. Everybody is out there on apps 
and no one has a clue. All guys just want to get in bed with with me, not me, Ellie. Um, although that might happen, who knows? And if they want to go ahead and get into a real relationship, they're not out there. And then I've had guys tell me that all they want is a serious relationship and they don't have a good way of being able to tell who is healthy and who is not. So think about it. Why on earth, why the hell would anyone who has been through that world of relationships want to attempt to even get into something new and begin something new. It, it would make no sense whatsoever. And for good reason, right? If I give two people, if I give one person two choices, here's the choice. Stay in your current situation, which is being single, or get into a relationship which your entire life has been filled with pain, frustration, disappointment, lies, dishonesty, being cheated on, regret, and, and this is a big one that I get, he was a narcissist. She was a narcissist, right? Narcissist is is a really um, I'm gonna shut this. Narcissist is a, is a really popular term for why people uh, break up in the relationships that they do, right? He was a narcissist. She was a narcissist. If those are the two choices, stay single or get into a relationship, which my entire life has been filled with disappointment and sucks course you're going to choose staying single. So even if it looks like you're making movement and even if it looks like you're telling people, oh, I've tried this or I've tried that or I've tried this, deep, deep down, you don't want to make that change. And it's for a very, very good reason. It's, an, it's for a very good reason. Who would? Who would want to make that change if, in fact, you are going to be in pain again. No one likes pain. Everyone likes happiness or peace or status quo. But going into a relationship, which I associate with pain, really, really is something that I don't want to do. That's why I want to stay single. So what's really important to understand is that if you are single or if you've come out of a very negative relationship or if you have been to, to yeah, one person told me yesterday, I've tried all these programs. They're very expensive and it hasn't helped. I get it. So then why the hell should I talk to you, Ellie? Okay, very good reason. So I get all of that resistance and I kind of like it. I know it sounds weird, but I really like it because I know the solution to that, which many people don't know, right? The first thing to understand is that you want to know why is it that you have such a hard time with dating? Well, if you have an underlying thought in the back of your brain, which is telling you that dating and relationships suck, and for good reasons, and dating and relationships are filled with pain, then of course you are not going to want to get into it. So that's why there's the hesitation on people's parts when I reach out to them, or that's why there, there's a hesitation on people's parts when you say, oh, I have an idea for you, or why don't you try this, or why don't you try that? There's a, there's a little bit of hope. Well, oh, maybe this will be it. And then there's all of that frustration. Then there's all of that crap swirling in the background of like, no, it hasn't worked for me in the past. It's not going to work for me again. There's no way that I want to get into it, okay? So that's really, really important for you to know that it is extremely normal and extremely common 
for you to feel and think that it's better off being single. Totally, totally normal. Totally, totally normal. Okay. Um, deep down, that's what you feel. So you got to embrace what it is that's really going on inside of you. That's number one. Then when you understand that that's really going on inside of you, you need to, instead of fighting those feelings and saying, well, I shouldn't be feeling that way. I don't really uh, think that way, or that's not true. That's not what I think. I know that there can be good relation. No, no. In order to attract someone healthy and someone who's honest and someone who's truthful, you need to first be truthful with the most important person watching this, yourself. Okay, I was going to say me because I watch my videos later on at night. No, I'm just joking. But sometimes I do. But whatever, I digress. The most important person is you, to be honest with yourself. So first step, realize that it's easier to be single when I think that the world of dating sucks. That thinking is not going to help me. So what I've done is I've tried to take every single step that a single person will encounter with their mind. And the reason I was able to do this is because I lived it and I've worked with many singles over the past two decades and take that mind frame and help people shift it completely because, and I like to compare the mind to a record player. If you have, and that's for those of you um, who still remember what a record player is, okay? If your mind is playing the same thoughts over and over again, it gets into a groove. So the groove that your mind is playing, being single is easier. It's easier than to get into a relationship. All relationships are filled with pain. All relationship coaches are, are full of shit. All um, programs don't work. All this, then you're going to continue to get the same results. So that's why I created the Find the Right One coaching program. Okay, that's what I have to offer to people looking to not only get into a healthy relationship, and there are people that tell me, I have no problem getting dates. I get dates every five seconds, right? Are, are those the quality type of people that you want to be in a relationship with? Do you have the right skill set to determine who is healthy and who is not? I don't think so. And if you do, awesome. Then once you get into the relationship, what I also help my clients see is this is how you maintain it. This is how you keep something healthy. This is how you keep the love going. How do you handle a conflict? How do you handle situations where your mind is so used to telling you, I have to defend myself because that last situation, that last relationship was very similar to this. And if I don't do... So that's what we do in, in the Find the Right One coaching program. And the results that I've seen, similar to that guy who, who told me there's no way that I want to be in a relationship because I'm, I'm done with dating, that's pretty much my, uh, one of my star clients, and I have many, uh, Mike, told me that's it, I'm done, divorced, I'm not getting married again, uh, I'm not dating again, I'm not... I said, sit down. We worked through the program, and he's been with the same person for two years and loves life and um, such a good friend, such a good person. And one of the major components of the program, and that's why I tell people, because they're sitting, well, I, I, I would take the program, but I'm not ready to date now. Okay. Well, this program will give you the skills to get into a relationship within the next 90 days or less if you want it. But I called it find the right one because the right one is you. The right one is you.
So if you're interested in learning about the success that people have had by going through this program, I'm someone you can talk to, message me, and if you have any questions, you could also message me as well. But I love talking to you, and I love getting the feedback. So if you have any comments on what I said, please go ahead and make sure uh, to uh, comment and send me a message if you'd like to learn more. Have an awesome day, guys. If I can stop this, that'd be cool.